hello everyone in this video i am starting with the new unit vector quantization quantization is one of the efficient tool for lossy compression right it reduces the bits required to represent the source input now we have discussed uh, two types of quantization in the past videos right one is a scalar quantization and another is vector quantization in scalar quantization input and output of quantizer are scalar in nature means individual values of sequence are compressed and decompressed not the group of values in vector quantization input and output of quantizer are vector in nature means the input values of sequence are grouped together or clubbed together in vector and then that vector is compressed and decompressed now uh, vector quantization is lossy data compression method which uses the principle of block coding technique block coding technique means it quantizes blocks of data instead of single sample it is widely used technique for image compression because it has simple decoding structure and it provides high compression ratio now this vector quantization concept is based on shannon's rate distortion theory shannon's uh, rate distortion theory says that the better compression ratio is always achievable by encoding sequence of input uh, samples rather than the input samples one by one means when you compress sequence of input samples together rather than the input samples one by one you can achieve better compression ratio now in vector quantization image compression uh, it is used for image compression right so there are three major steps in vector quantization technique the first one is code book design second step is vector quantization and coding process and the uh, third step is vector quantization decoding process now take an example uh, of image compression here consider this figure in vector quantization based image compression first the image is divided into non overlapping sub blocks then each sub block is converted into one dimensional vector this vector is called as training vectors means you divide the image into non overlapping sub blocks then represent each those sub block by vector and uh, this set of vectors are called training vectors now from the training vectors that you are uh, that you have generated from the sub blocks a set of representative vectors are selected these representative vectors represent the entire set of training vectors so only subset of the vectors are selected from the training set which are called as representative vectors now the set of these representative vectors is called as code book here as you can see here this is the code book and each representative a vector is called code word or code vector the vectors which are present in the code book is called as code vector or code word now for each image uh, input image block the closest code vector in the code book is selected now how to find this closest code word or code vector for the input image block the closest code vector for the image block is the one that has minimum distortion or minimum squared euclidean distance from the input image block now there is index for each code vector in the code book as you can see here so instead of transmitting the closest code vector the index of this closest code vector is transmitted to the decoder side here the compression is achieved because the index of closest code vector in the code book is sent to the decoder instead of original image block right now as you can see from the figure first the first step is to group uh, the uh, source input into the vectors so 
first input sequence is grouped together in vectors then at the encoder side the closest code vector from the code book is found here using uh, some distortion measure now this same code book is present at both encoder and decoder side then instead of sending the closest code vector for the input vector the index of code vector is sent at decoder side at decoder side table lookup is performed the index value is received at the decoder side and the table lookup is performed to find the code vector for the received index value so from the received index the code vector is found then that code vector is unblocked here to get the reconstruction of original input this way you can perform vector quantization now the performance of vector quantization based image compression technique depends on the constructed code book the search complexity increases with the number of vectors in the code book obviously when there are more number of vectors in the code book then you have to find distortion with all the code vectors in the code book for the input vector so search complexity increases now the number of code vectors n in the code book depends on two parameters first is rate r and another is a dimension l how can you find dimension of vector dimension of vector is number of individual values in single vector suppose if there are three values in the vector then it is called three bit uh, three dimensional vector if there are four values in the vector then it is called four dimensional vector the number of code vectors n is given by this equation n equals to 2 raised to r into l here r is rate in bits per pixel for the image and l is dimension so this equation from this equation we can say that rate increases as the number of code vectors increases so the size of code book also increases see the example of uh, vector quantization suppose there are two input vectors the first vector is 0.75 1.27 and the second vector is 1.78 2.11 here there are two individual values in single vector so it is two dimensional vector here the code book have four vectors minus 2 minus 2 here minus 2 minus 2 minus 1 minus 1 1 1 2 2 2 which are also called as code vectors or code words each code vector have index value to identify it here here there are only four code vectors so two bits are enough to uh, identify each code vector two bits are enough for the index value the same code book is present at the decoder side as you can see suppose the input vector is represented by vector x here and the code vector is represented by vector y then the distortion is given by this equation x minus yj whole square is less than equals to x minus yi whole square for all i not equals to j here x is input vector and y is output vector so if this condition is satisfied then the quantization function is given by this equation q of x equals to yj means when you give input x to the quantizer then it will give you output y this x and y are vectors this is the this is yj is output only when uh, the distortion between x yj is less than equals to distortion between x yi for all i not equals to j for example consider input vector is x and it is first vector consider first vector 0.75 and 1.27 then the first step is to find the 
closest code vector right from the code book for the input vector so that the distortion or Euclidean distance measure is used here the first code vector in the code book is this minus 2 minus 2 so find the distortion for that which is here if you find uh, the distortion between input x and the first code vector minus 2 minus 2 then the distortion is this 18.2554 now the second code vector in the code book is minus 1 minus 1 so find the distortion between input vector x and second code vector minus 1 minus 1 so the distortion is 8.2154 now the third code vector in the code book is here 1 1. So find the distortion between uh, input vector x and uh, third code vector 1 1. So it is 0 0.1354. The last vector in the code book code vector in the code book is 2 2. Find the distortion between input vector x and last code vector 2 2 so it is 2.0954 so for the code vector 1 1 here the distortion is minimum as you can see here the distortion is minimum so the closest code vector is 1 1 for the input vector 0 0.75 1.27 so its index, uh, the index for the code vector 1 1 is 1 0. So it is sent at decoder side. The decoder will perform table lookup operation to find 1 0. Here 1 0 is here. So it will find the code vector 1 1. Right. So for the input vector 0 0.75, 1.27, the reconstructed vector at the decoder side is 1, 1, this one. This way you can achieve lossy compression using vector quantization. Now consider second code vector, uh, second input vector 1.78 and 2.11. For this vector, input vector, the code vector 2, 2 is closest. So its index uh, 1 1 is sent at decoder side. From the index value the decoder will find out the reconstruction vector. So for the input vector 1.78 2.11 the uh, reconstructed vector is 2.2. So this way you can uh, achieve lossy compression using vector quantization. That's it for now. Thank you.